what is going on pokemon card nation my name is tcg jake welcome back to another video it's nice to see y'all here thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you'd like please give this video a thumbs up that would greatly help me out and we are going to talk about a special 25th anniversary pokemon tcg set releasing in february now this was posted one hour ago by water pokemon master and this is by poke beach and they are pretty accurate so i wouldn't worry about anything like that we can now reveal another special sword and shield set will release on february 19th 2021 the name hasn't been revealed yet so we don't know what it's called uh we just know that it's going to be sword and shield 4.5.5 is the code name by tpci whenever we get a special set we usually get a 0.5 basically it gets released between normal sets the sets booster packs will be exclusive via an elite trainer box pin boxes v boxes and two different sets of tins so your hidden fate shining legends generations dragon majesty etc individual packs will not be sold no product descriptions have been released yet as usual this information is subject to change pokemon's 25th anniversary is on february 27th so this will obviously be celebrating that landmark in the same way generations celebrated 20 the 20th anniversary in february 2016 oh my gosh i remember when that set came out it's been that long already we already know tpci is planning 25th anniversary promotion with mcdonald's to give out hollow promos of the 25 starter pokemon you hear that guys your starter pokemon any one of your favorites sounds like they're gonna have mcdonald's promos now that means gen 2 starters are probably coming back and i would not be surprised if we get some rainbow rares of some starters that haven't had ultra rares in a long time gen 2 being not having ultra rares i believe since the prime cards came out specifically typhlosion i don't think the other two have either that i can remember and that was way back in the heart gold and soul silver days this is the chimchar and we can see this is 12 out of 25. so we've got chimchar here with a shattered glass foil and it looks like we've got the pikachu stamp similar to what the generations logo looked like although it looks slightly different with a little bit of a discoloration that could just be the photo and we've got the 25 on the cheeks for 25th anniversary we've got his move you know everything else all the fun stuff artist you know this stuff the information this more information right here but this is the only card we've seen so far so what could be in this set basically what they say is they don't know yet a promising candidate is japan's shiny star v which releases on november 20 20th it's a 190 card set that will mostly contain reprints from the sword and shield era but most notably it will contain shiny reprints of pokemon v the shiny charizard v from champions path likely came from that set these types of Japanese sets are usually reserved for our special sets. Now, I don't think there's going to be a Charizard, a shiny one in this set. There might be, I don't know. But just because we're getting it in this, so that's going to be a little bit of a change, I think, to the way the set is going to work in Japan and America. Thanks to the Japanese trademark listings, we also know the names of upcoming dual sets, Single Strike Master and Rapid Strike Master, which is for Shifu. Those will probably release in December, judging by when their trademarks were discovered in October. There's products featuring alternate arts of Rayleboom VMAX, Cinderace VMAX, Inteleon VMAX, and new Cramorant VMAX. In December, there's products featuring in December, there's products featuring Blastoise VMAX, Venusaur VMAX, and a shiny Crobat V. I know I've got a Crobat fan on this channel. You hear that? I hope you're ready for that one. All of these could be candidates for our 4.5 set or our regular sword and shield 5 set which i actually think that's where the crobat v is going to end up but that's just me i don't know I, I don't work for the pokemon company so i couldn't tell you this is all assuming our 4.5 set doesn't pull cards from a future japanese set that is currently unknown to us trademark listings are usually discovered five months in advance so there's still time for us to learn about a japanese set that could become part of our 4.5 set for example this is important right here generations set was based on japanese break starter pack both generations and break starter pack were released simultaneously in february of 2016 they were released at the same time which means if we're getting another set like that this could probably happen again which means nobody knows what's going to be in the set at all it probably won't be shiny star v if that's the case it could be 
But if that's the case, then Shiny Star V will be our next year set, which is what I'm betting on. I'm betting on this is completely new. We don't know what it is. So if we apply the same scenario to 2020, there's still time for us to learn about a Japanese set that could ultimately become a part of our 4.5 set, making this even more likely as it has happened in the past. It would be odd for Japan not to release something in February to celebrate the 25th anniversary, especially when TPCI is making a special set just for us. So more news is on the way, but this is all we know. And then there's something about evolutions on the bottom, but it doesn't make it doesn't really matter considering this set it doesn't matter so stay tuned i guess they're gonna have more news we've got some more news coming up more news about 2021 stuff coming up uh we'll take a little bit more of a look at our char chimchar promo card did i call it a charmander earlier i don't remember pretty cool problem with mcdonald's promos is they usually get bent because they're usually packed with a toy be nice if they just keep them in a little plastic you know sleeve type of thing that's all the info we have on the set so far I was going to open something today, but I'm definitely not going to do that right now. I've got the video done. I just need to edit it. It'll probably be posted tomorrow. Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all are excited for Champion's Path this week. I know that I'm actually not. But anyways, thank you for watching and stopping by. Have a good one. Bye now.